Hi there, Joka here, and in this video I'm sharing my project with the uh, Spellbinders May 2022 large die kit. So here's a die kit, and as you see there is a large U in it that you can stitch, and then there are a bunch of smaller um, sentiment parts that you can use either with the shadow die or without it. Now I decided to um, die cut everything in the kit from white cardstock and keep my background colorful instead and for the background I used one of the new um, color block mini shapes the square and I did not show this uh, part at all because I have a video from last month um, I think April 14th um, using exactly this die so um, if you want, you can check that out, how I uh, created those. And so I will um, show you how I'm going to glue them down, but the, the die cutting pro process I did not include. So I die cut um, two layers of um, everything, the letters and the shadow as well, just so that they are dimensional. And I opted for no stitching this time. I actually... I don't know if you had a look at the um, upcoming products this month. There's going to be a lot of stitching um, products. So I don't know. I actually didn't um, stitch much at all in the, on those either um, because I find that this lace look is so beautiful. I think um, it doesn't actually need stitching if you don't want it. And I spent a lot of time on my background anyway, so I did not want to add more um, to it. And I think it would have been a bit bulky as well. So anyway, uh, this is how I, I go about this kind of pattern. I um, kind of uh, draw, drew to, two lines to find the middle of, the, um, um, of my card front. And then I started uh, laying down my squares in the middle just so that it's all kind of, um, you know, centered and uh, nice. But you don't have to do this. You can also eyeball it. Uh, I did that in the past as well. Um, but I thought this was an easy way to go about it. And now I am trimming off the edges on um, once I'm about two thirds done because I find... Um, that it's easier to do this than when all four sides are already filled because then I don't have uh, any um, angles that I can line up with the uh, with my trimmer. So um, I always do the die cutting or the, um, sorry, <laughs> the trimming in steps. And then I also uh, kind of trimmed off a little bit from the edges. So in the end, I started out with a normal slimline size, um, three and a half by eight and a half inches. But then I uh, trimmed off the li a little bit because I wanted to have a white edge around it. I wasn't planning on this ahead of time. Otherwise I could have, um, you know, I, I could have done this earlier. Um, and now I am gluing down the letters. You can see I'm not adding any foam tape or anything because I have two layers of uh, heavyweight cardstock, so it's already um, pretty dimensional. And it kind of looks simple, right? Um, but I thought this pops from the um, pops of the colorful background. And then I found this die set. This is also new uh, in April. Um, the, from the new Becca Fegan collection, the Cherry Blossom. And I had one left from a previous project, so I thought this would be a good way to use that one flower up. And just to add some more um, texture or dimension to this card, I added some enamel dots in um, on, on the die cuts but that's done that card now for the background on my second card I also wanted to create something colorful but not as colorful as the previous one and not as um, labor intensive and there's this die uh, set it was the large die kit last year in July I believe and you can cut 
three different sizes of uh, stripes with it. So that's what I did, and um, used, I used the same color uh, colors as before, these kind of peach and orange colors, and I just um, created an ombre kind of look. Um, originally, I actually just wanted to mix the colors, but then uh, I like this one better, and now I'm trimming this off as well. Um, again, it was not planned this way, but um, I like that white edge, so... I I don't know, maybe like a quarter of an inch or eighth of an inch that I uh, trimmed off. And that's my background. And for this one, um, I decided to die cut the um, sentiment that I chose and the U uh, from both from white cardstock and a variety of purples. Um, I know you cannot really tell um in this light but the U is actually cut from a really deep um, eggplant color and then I used a, a kind of lavender color for uh, some part of the sentiment uh, for the from and then me too uh, I used a purple that I think it's called plum punch maybe all these three card stocks are from Gina K um and the peaches are well the 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 top one the very light one is from spa binders um i think it's called barely peach and then the rest are some, from some local um brand here in germany um so again i die cut everything twice just to give them dimension and again i did not stitch but I will tell you, if I had stitched, I would have uh, done it with uh, white um, floss. Uh, these are actually easy to stitch. There's not a lot of um, stitching and it's always the same kind of design with spa binder. So if you want to know how to stitch these, if you're uncertain, um, you can check any of my previous videos. I, I normally show a little bit of the stitching process and now I'm assembling all these obviously you don't have to use the shadow um, parts they look great without it um, for these small ones I do find them helpful um, I think it's easier to line up the you know the, the letters the right way but you don't have to use those and now I'm trying to figure out how to arrange um, my sentiment and once I figure out what I like most I'm going to start um, gluing everything down and then I die cut one more of this uh, cherry blossom this time from lavender cardstock and then with a, an orange middle and some uh, eggplant uh, leaves and I, I mean, it was very hard for me to stop here um, and not add more flowers. You know how much, much I love flowers. But uh, I'm going to have some more cards coming up on the 14th um, that have the same color combination and also are full of flowers. So I didn't really want to do the exact same thing here. Um, I did find some more uh, like buds in the in my little die set that I uh, kept from a previous project which are also in the same peach color so in the end I'm going to add two of those as well just so that I have a, a little bit of well a, a bigger um, cluster there but they are uh, small I mean it doesn't make a whole lot of difference but it was an afterthought so uh, first I'm going to add the same thing as before but this time I'm adding white enamel dots to the middle of the um, stitched circles if that makes sense so instead of stitching I think this is also a good option it's a different texture it adds some dimension and some fun uh, I like it and now I'm pressing them down in place so that they don't move 
and now I am thinking I need some more flowers. So these are the ones that I left, uh, had left from a previous project, but they had navy uh, stems. And so I'm uh, adding some in purple, not that you will see a lot of that because I'm tucking them under the uh, um, cherry blossom there. And I figured I will need some foam tape just to raise them a little bit. And then I'm also adding a little bit of liquid glue to the end of it so that it doesn't all, uh, I don't know, stand up where, you know, I just wanted to kind of tuck it uh, under that flower better. And for this, I had to remove one of the leaves as well as you saw. I'm sorry about my voice. It keeps uh, <coughs> going away. <laughs> Sorry. So that's all today. Uh, simple cards, uh, but I hope you like them anyway. Um, check out the other video with the small die kit as well. And then I see you on the 14th. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.